hello guys welcome to lesson 3 of this html tutorial i'm still sunday and you're watching good news now please if this is your first time coming to our youtube channel please kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of our updates now in our last tutorial in our last video we talked about the html boiler plate we explained the html boiler plate and we said that when you start when you want to start building a website you must bring out or you must type out the HTML boiler plate. It's just like the template of where you now build or where you now write your code on. Now, we also talked about how you can able to create your file, your folder with uh, VS Code. And we said that in your boiler plate, the first thing that's supposed to be on top of your boiler plate is doc type declaration. And if you go to any website and you inspect, if you inspect the website, you will notice that that doc type is always the first thing on that particular website and we also uh, listed the importance of the meta tag and we say that meta tag does not display in the browser it's just a, a piece of information that is used to pass to the search engine or to the browser so it also helps you in your uh, website optimization that's seo so and we also explain the body and we say that the body is a uh, is where you write your code, where you write all your HTML code. You get, and these are the part that's being displayed in the browser. So we also say that if you're writing your code, your code should be within the opening tag of the HTML and the closing tag of the HTML. Then when you want to write the body of your code or on your, on your website, all your code should fall within the body. And the body is being enclosed with the closing tag and the opening tag of the HTML. These are what we treated in our last video. So we also went further to write our first uh, HTML code. So please, if you have not watched this video, I'm going to drop it under the description section so that you can be able to watch it and follow us as we progress. Now, today we are going to be treating attributes, tags, and elements. I'm going to be treating tax elements and attributes. Remember, in our first introductory video, we said that HTML deals with these three, uh, these three uh, things I mentioned: that's tax attributes and elements. In this HTML journey, we are going to be treating these three things. This is all we'll be seeing in this HTML because HTML is all about tax attributes elements. You can use them. You can use a tag to display. How your, how your content or how your elements will be displayed in the browser, communicating to the browser how you want your elements or your text to display. Now, this is what to be treating in this tutorial. And one thing you have to know about tax elements and attributes is that some tax will need attributes to work, while some don't need attribute to actually function. For example, when you talk about the anchor tag, you know, you must put an attribute in that anchor tag for that anchor tag to work. But when you talk about both tag, you can actually write your both tag, your opening and closing both tag, and it will work perfectly well without any attributes. Now, this is what I mean by some tags we need attributes to work, while some don't actually need attributes to work. And your attributes, you have to note that you put your attributes within the opening tag, not ending tag or closing tag you put your attributes within the opening tag now we also mentioned in our last tutorial that some tags had a, a self-closing tax that's the empty tags which they, they don't actually have a closing tag they only have a an opening tag so this is what we mean by self-closing tags so this is what we, we are going to be looking at in this particular tutorial so please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. And please, if you have any question, please don't be afraid or don't be scared to use the comment section. And we are going to be there to attend to all your questions you'll be asking. So thank you for coming through our YouTube channel and thank you for engaging in all our videos. God bless you guys. Now let's go to the practical aspect of the tutorial. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to the practical aspects of this tutorial and like I said, we'll be treating HTML 
element tax and attributes now in our last tutorial we explained how we brought out this boilerplate HTML boilerplate so if you want to bring it out you make use of your you make use of your shift one then tab key to bring it out and we will also explain this HTML boilerplate from the beginning of the document declaration to the ending and we say that this document declaration is very, very important if you go to any website and you expect it you're actually going to see this document declaration as the first thing here so you just like passing message to the browser that this is actually html document now today we'll be treating html let's start with html elements now html element is actually defined by the starting and closing tag starting tag some content and closing tag now what do i mean by this remember in our last tutorial we wrote our h what our first html code using our h1 using our h1 <coughs> now this is a tag this is actually a tag now but when you now start putting content inside this tag you can say this is h1 when you start putting content inside this tag like this you start calling this an element html element because this is html element is actually defined by the opening tag some element some content and closing tag and this is the opening tag this is the closing tag and inside within this opening and closing tag you can write your content so from your opening tag to your closing tag when you have a content it's actually your html elements so that's one thing about html elements so html elements is everything from the starting tag to the ending tag so we can have another example p tag if you want to write your p tag user less than p greater than p now my this is very very uh, user friendly so once you type it and click space it will automatically auto fill for you but let me type it myself then another uh, this thing another less than sign then slash p then slash, uh, greater than sign so this is how you write your tags and, it's, and i also say in our in the introductory video that sometimes we have a only opening tag they don't actually have a closing tag and it will work perfectly well now we call those time kind of tag we call them a self-closing tags so but those ones that uh, have a, a, an opening tag and, and closing tag can actually contain an, uh, this in a content just like for this one now you can actually write your content here you can actually write your content here but a tag like bold okay let me say break tag bro tag you can't you can, you can just come here and write your content no it's not a good practice if you write your content here your browser is going to see it as a normal test and there's no way you can actually edit this particular content so that is need for an opening tag and a closing tag so you can actually come between the opening tag and closing tag and write your content within them so that is one thing about html <coughs> element now you should also know that some html elements have no content like the tag which i already explained this content these elements are called empty elements they are called empty elements so they don't actually have a closing tag so you just you can also it's not another example is hr it doesn't have empty it doesn't have a closing tag br it doesn't have a closing tag break tag and uh, hr is horizontal line. if you want to draw your horizontal line in your website you can use your hr tag to draw it and this particular h1 hr tag does not have any closing tag now we move over to what we call nested html elements nested HTML element. But before then, let's preview our work. Okay, let me put the title here. Let me put the title as home and save. Let's preview our work with our live server. Let me close our live server because I think we have 
go live and this is how our work will look like this is, the, this is h1 h1 that or you can say h1 elements this h1 element if you preview it automatically it will refresh for you without you having to refresh it by yourself it will automatically refresh for you that's the work of live server now we also you can also put a paragraph this is this is b tag can save and you can see this is big tag b tag is always smaller yeah, it's just like a test a smaller test why h1 is heading test so you can see this one is more smaller than this one so that's half what you have to note also about this guys no another thing like i said another thing we are going to look at is nested nested uh, html elements now you can notice that html can be nested this means that you can have elements inside elements like html can contain elements inside elements take for example okay let me use, make use of our our dollar plates okay this is not a good practice but let me just uh, let me just use bring out new boiler plate here this is not a good process remember you must have one boiler plate in your document in your file in each file you open but for this because let me just explain this something with this i'll see there it is um, let me remove this let me remove this edge let me search inside this somebody let me write uh, our p tag this is p tag let me also okay let me write h one tag <coughs> i'm just trying to explain what i mean by nested elements this is h one tag now let me set this okay now what i mean by nested elements you can see that uh, in this place now we have the first one which is what our html and this html defines the document uh, the document type that means you are going to write just like the body that contains that that's where you're going to write all your code you get it, it defines the body now when you're talking about uh when you're talking about when you, when you leave your html tag and go to your body this is another element so is this particular body is being nested inside this html html tag and if you come inside the body you also see another element which is what which is your p tag and also your what and also your h1 tag so inside this place now from here from here to here we have four elements inside we have what we have four elements inside so they are nested inside each other so this is what we mean by html it can be a nested uh, uh, element we have html nested element or nested html elements so we can have one element inside another element another element inside another element so they are inside and they are nested inside each other which we are going to we are still going to explain these things as we move forward but for now just know that you can have html elements inside another html element just like this one you can have this one inside this one you can have this one inside this one it's even inside this uh inside this one you can see have another one you can see have another anchor tag you can see have another anchor tag inside this one so they actually can they, you can nest html elements so that's what i mean by html elements can be nested so another thing you have to know about html is html is not a uh, case sensitive let me delete this so it will not confuse you guys let me let's keep using this one html is not case sensitive what do i mean by this so when you type something like this this is capital letter remember this is capital letter when you type something like this is 
this is capital letter and you type something like this also this is small letter let's preview this this will give you the sensing this will give you the sentence. This is, going, this is not going to give you an error because HTML is not case sensitive. They are not case sensitive. So even if you use capital letter to type this one and use capital letter to type this one, it will still give you the sentence. But for best practice, it's always advisable you make use of some uh, small letter or small letters to type your tags. You don't actually recommend using this capital letter. You get not that if you use it, it's not going to give you what you want. It's actually going to give you what you want because HTML is not a uh, case sensitive. For but for best practice, we actually make use of the small letter. So that's it. So that's what I mean by HTML is not case sensitive. Now another thing we have to note is some HTML element. We actually display well even without the closing tag so HTML elements we display well without the closing tag now for example if you are using your P tag you can actually type your P tag like this but this is not the best practice it's just for you to note in this this is a P without closing tag Can see it's actually displayed very well even without that closing tag so some html some html elements can actually display without a closing tag but this is not actually uh, the best practice it's always recommended that once a tag has a has a closing tag it's always advisable to put that closing tag then within that closing tag you cannot you cannot write your content just like this one you can write your closing tag your big closing tag like this then within this place you can still write your content it will still give you the same nothing will change to still give you the same thing so that's one thing about html you have to note about so this is all about html elements let me just recap what i just said i first thing you have to note is for you to write your HTML elements is defined by the opening tag, some content, sorry, some content, and a closing tag. And we said that some HTML elements do not have a, a closing tag, and we score and we call them self-closing elements. They are self-closing elements or empty elements. And we say if you want to write your content. You write it within the opening tag and the closing tag and we also say that html elements uh, html is not a uh, case sensitive meaning that you can use capture letter to write on that or small letter it will still give you the same thing but it's always recommended that you make use of the small letters so that's for html elements as we progress we also make use of this element or tags as we progress don't forget that this alone this alone this alone is a tag 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 hr is a tag then we now start putting content inside this place we now start calling them from here to here is what html elements but if it's only the tag if, if it's only the opening P and the closing P, call them P tag. We call this one H1 tag. We call this one HR tag. So you know the difference between these particular two. When you start having, we have content, you can say from opening tag of P to the closing tag of P is what we call all the content within those, uh, those opening and closing tag of P is what we call HTML elements but when you have only p alone you can say that p is a tag so you will understand this thing because we are going to be using these things as we progress so that's all about html elements <coughs> that's all about html elements 
now let's go to our html attributes let's go to our html attributes the first place we are going to be applying our attributes is in our meta tag now remember i told you that meta tag is not displayed you cannot see your meta tag in your website that our meta tag is just a piece of information that you pass to the search engine or to the browser you get so the one we are going to another meta tag we are going to add in is meta tag for our description meta tag for our description and this will help in your uh, website optimization it helps in your website optimization yeah, because it's just a piece of information you pass to the search engine or to the browser on all on what your website is all about so if you want to add it you just come to this place within your header after the last meta tag you can type another meta tag remember meta tag does not have a, a closing tag it has self closing uh, tag it does not have any closing tag so it's empty tag so you don't actually need to start the, typing the opening and closing tag that's why we don't have any closing tag for meta tag here so you can type another one if actually if you actually type meta you can bring out many options that is this this is the automated one if you want to use if you want to type a description meta you can use this one that said meta desc it means description if you want to type a description meta once you click on this place it's going to autofill everything for you you just have to start typing your description about your website for example now let me click on this it will bring out the name with the description and the content which is where we are going to type the content or what our website is all about now this information now is being passed to the browser so that whenever we go someone visit your website and copy your website link maybe the best will copy your website link and send to someone on whatsapp wants to paste that whatsapp uh, website link in your typing box whatsapp will autofill or we will bring out something like a preview in that previews you are going to see some a little bit or a brief description about your website now the this is where the search engine will bring out or correct the information from the ins inside this content this is where you type those information that you want the search engine to crawl or to go through you understand so i want someone to copy your website and send to someone that particular information we preview or we display for that person to read about your website it's just a little bit of brief information about your website now let me remove this so we can type this from the beginning so if you want to type it you can use your uh your your less than remember this doesn't have a closing tag so you just write your meta and your closing and your greater than so this is how you write your meta tag because it does not have a closing tag now inside this space you can give a space and put your name equal to normally this is this is actually a user friend this particular vs code is actually user friendly so once you type equal to it will autofill everything for you which is somehow uh, good but on the, other, on the other hand if you are still learning is advisable you type all these things by yourself so that you can able to know it even without the without using uh, any text editor that is user friendly like that you can, you can be able to write your code comfortably so it's always advisable you type all these things by yourself so inside this place we, are, we want to type our description so the name should be what description description now you give space again now remember if you want to type your attributes attributes is being Typed or being written, if you want to write your attribute, you write your attribute attributes within your opening tag. Within your opening tag. So assuming here now, assuming this this uh, H1 which has a opening and closing tag, this is where we write our attributes. This is where we write our attributes, not here. You don't write your attributes here. You don't write it here. You write your attribute within the opening tag inside your opening tag that's why we are writing it here because this particular meta tag does not actually have a closing tag even if it has a closing tag we are still going to write it inside this place because this is actually the opening tag now we want to actually give description about our website 
now we give it name which is what the name is what description this particular name attribute we are still going to make use of it in our php so it's important you know it's name attribute to we'll make use of name attributes now when you type your description the next one is going to be content of that description content equal to uh, open a uh, quotation mark double quotation mark it's always advisable you make use of double quotation mark but in some cases you have to make use of one which i'm still going to show you guys in this video so please kindly stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel and if you have any question at this moment at this uh, level please kindly use the comment section to drop your question we are going to attending we're going to be attending to all your questions now in this content this is where we now write a brief information about our website this is code this we say this is code this uh, how we teach web design and development my dev and just use dev you can still write more but then for the then just not waste time so this is example of what your meta tag description is all about so if someone now go to our website maybe this is our website and search codevase.com and copy our link and paste in your browser sorry in your whatsapp or or facebook you get that place you type your taste in your whatsapp now if someone paste it there is kind of a preview if you went a little bit maybe three seconds depending on how fast your browser your network is is you you see you see kind of a, a preview that will contain your logo and some um some uh, description a little bit description about your website so this is where the search engine will extract that particular content from this is where it extracts it from so it's always advisable to add this in your website because it helps in your website optimization though this is not the uh, advanced seo share but it, this helps this helps to optimize your website at least it is the basics to seo uh, at least you add this one then when you now start typing your doing your keyword research and other things writing quality content uh, it will now boost your website more so it's advisable you add this at the uh, within the header of your website now we have added our meta tag description and we say that this name from here this place to this place is an attribute this is an attribute from here again to here is another attribute so you this is how you write your attributes so i hope you guys understand this particular uh, attribute now and we say that attribute provides additional information about element it actually provides additional information about element just like in you know, this one you can write your style attributes here you can write your title attributes here this attribute will give additional information about this particular element don't forget that we say that this is element because from this opening tag to this closing tag it's element because i've actually written a content here so we say element is from opening tag the content then closing tag is an is an element so this attribute gives additional information about this particular element so that's it uh we have uh, some tags that can actually work without actually uh, putting your your attributes while there are some tags that cannot work without putting your attributes a tag like this this anchor tag this is an anchor tag this anchor tag cannot work if you remove this attribute now this is the attribute href hypertext reference that's what that's mean of that href hypertext reference so this is where you now reference this is anchor tag it's just like a clickable link it's just like a link a tag anchor tag we call it anchor, anchor tag it's just like a link so this is where you now put the link that's once you click on this place maybe say click me click me sorry you say click me so once you click on this page let me preview this in let me preview this in so you can see how it looks 
now you can see how it looks now automatically once you are using anchor tag it gives uh, it underlines the test this is a uh, uh, inbuilt uh, inbuilt uh, styling so it underlines this thing in your CSS you can actually move this underline this thing here you can actually move it in your CSS that's when we start doing CSS but for now just know that this is inbuilt uh, style for anchor tag now once you click on this place this link now is going to direct you to the website you are going to put here if you put google google.com here if you click here okay let me use sorry sorry let me use this in google okay my website uh my browser is not actually my network is not actually here Okay. my network is not uh, but you can see it's directing you to google.com the other one well, why it was not directing me to google is because i actually if you're using a standard link it's always available to type the full url https then slash www.google.com it's always available to type everything don't just type only this like this if you're using a standard link so that's why it was it was showing like that but for now now for now it's actually working so when you go to this place let's okay so already refresh if you click on it if you go down if you look down now look at this place just looking at this place as i hover on this click me you can see that you can be seeing that google.com mean that once you click on this place it's going to direct you to that particular google.com so that's the work of anchor tag but because i don't have network i'm not going to click here because it's going to give me network no network sure so so that's work of this anchor tag so i see that some tags can work without attributes why some tags you must add attribute for that particular tag to work for example this anchor tag now it can't work with if we remove this attribute now this anchor tag cannot work again because the work of this anchor tag is for you is just like a to create a clickable uh, link to create a link that you can that can direct you to another website or another page another file anyone you want to call it but it must be a clickable link and cut tag again so but if you remove this attribute now that is here there's no way you can actually add a clickable link here you can see this is no longer clickable this is no longer clickable because you have removed that attribute so this anchor tag attribute cannot work it can't work without attributes sorry this anchor tag uh, anchor tag cannot work without attributes so you must add attributes here which is href hypertext reference href equal to then you use your opening and so you use your quotation mark opening and closing quotation mark then inside this opening and closing quotation mark that is where you now write the link that particular anchor tag is going to be directed the user to so i hope this is actually clear so but some tags like tags like uh, break tag bro tag it can work with that attribute get let me use uh okay okay let me use uh tags like uh, bro tag tags like uh Mm, bold tag bold tag bold tag has open and closing tag so this bold tag you can say me we are still going to look at this text edit editing uh, this thing you can see bold tag is here so you can say uh, uh, tags like hr to draw a line horizontal line you can see the horizontal line here this is hr uh, which other tag okay tags like uh, p tag this can work this this particular p tag can work without attributes okay you can see it can work without attribute. but tags like anchor tag it cannot actually work without attributes attributes so tags like image image tag image tag this cannot work without attribute because 
this attribute which is src this is source it means source it means the source or the location of the image you want to add then if you come if you want to remove this source there's no way you can add a location of that image so this image that cannot work without attributes so it's always important you note this so that when you are building your website and you make a mistake you know where your error is actually coming from so you know the tags that can actually work with and without attributes so this is how you write your attributes so we also have uh, other attributes like um, uh, okay let me make use of uh, let me add attribute to our image tag now let me explain this this source is the location of your image now we don't have any image here look at in this our uh, root folder we don't actually have any image here now and i say that root folder is just like the main container that we hold your image folder your css folder your javascript folder and other folders you will have in your website on your work so inside this image inside this roots folder you can actually create another folder inside it so if you want to create a folder remember if you want to create a file you go to this first option which is new file then if you want to create a folder just make sure you have clicked on this main folder just make sure you have clicked on this main folder and this main folder is open then you now go to the second option which is what you can see is new folder you click on the new folder it will bring out where you are going to type don't type dot html or dot php don't put any extension because this is actually a folder you don't put extension in a folder now you can use a img img mean image or you can type it in full and enter so this particular folder is where our uh, our images is going to enter again so this is where we are going to put in our image or our image we are going to be using to build this website so let's let me go and add one image there mm, let me let me just carry this one okay let me copy this this copy let me copy this one let me go to my desktop and uh, open uh, root. this our root this is our image open it again then paste the image here so once you paste it here you go back to your browser because this root folder is already here so that thing you paste you dropped that thing you dropped inside this folder we display here so let me okay this this is the logo we are this is the uh, image we are going to be using now in this source now let's put our image there let's put our image there now if you want to put your image the first thing you're going to do which you are going to check is is your image inside a folder or is it alone is your image inside a folder or is it alone now your image is inside a folder and the folder is it the image is inside is what img so if first of all type the folder the image is img slash automatically this uh VS Code will bring out the, the all the images inside the folder. You only have one image, so you cannot select them. But for the cost of food, you can so you can understand or you, you can understand this particular lesson. Let me explain it well. So once you have typed the uh, the the image folder, as in the folder where the image is, now you will type the name of the image. Name of the image. Code base. Okay, let me just use this thing. Sorry because of time let me just drag code face enter now this is the name of the folder this is the name of the folder but if you type this thing like this now it's not going to display okay let's test something uh, this is not going to display anything if you type it like this it's not going to display anything but if you come here and put the extension which is what dot png it's a png file png file if you put the extension and refresh you will see the image look at the image it's very big so it's going the other side uh okay we are going to use our width and height now to resize the image you can see the image is very very big let me reduce my browser minimize my browser you can see the image here now 
I'm using control plus and minus to zoom out and zoom in so you can see the image now but if when i when i used let me remove this extension you can see the image is no longer there because it didn't add any extension that means the image is not actually locating any particular image so i hope you guys understand this particular stuff so that's the need for you to put extension to that particular image so every image must have extension you have the jpg dot png dot uh, giv uh, in videos dot uh, mp4 and so on and so forth all those things are extension and you must add them before uh, uh, that particular uh, um, media media will actually display in your browser so that is the work of this source but assuming this image now okay let me just carry this image remember i've already copied the image let me just paste this image directly here now this image is already that di is directly here be now this is the image now it's no longer inside the folder. it's also inside the folder. but let me just use this one that's not in that's outside the folder to explain something let me rename it if you want to rename your your folder or your file anything just like click on that file right click go to the name just the name only don't remove the extension though just rename it to codeface.png enter let me save this now since this our image is not inside any folder so i don't actually need this folder again so i will remove it and the name is only code base so remove all these ones and i'm is that, is that going to be code base dot png png so save it and preview sorry it gives us the same thing so but it's always to arrange your work you put all your images inside one folder so that your work will be arranged it's not when you have like 100 images all of them will just be sliding down we just list all of them here no it's always advised we put them inside the folder like once you close that folder that particular image or images we close so that's why we put all our images css javascript and other things inside folder its own folder its own folder so that's it so that's work of this source source is just like to locate the location or the to get the location of that particular image you want to add if it's inside the folder you type the folder name which is image img slash slash the image name which is this particular name so you can also rename your image to be very very short so you now start typing all these things from beginning to end so that's work of this source now another thing is another attribute inside this image tag remember this is attribute this is attribute this is also attributes this is attribute this is attribute so another attribute inside this phrase is alternate alter alt 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 alternate uh, uh, attributes or uh, alt alternate or uh, alt uh, attributes now this the work of this art is okay let's take for example your image cannot be displayed maybe you mistakenly type the wrong uh, the wrong uh, file name yes so this particular alternate name alternative name we actually display to explain what the image that's supposed to be there is maybe if it's your logo if, if it's your business logo or your website logo you can say if you can come to this alternate remember you're going to type it between the opening and closing quotation mark you can say this is our or I'll just say our logo or logo anyone so this logo now will represent or we just pass uh, uh, information about the image that's supposed to be there this uh, this it is this will actually load something this will actually load the image look at it will load the image because the image name look at the image the image name is correct right now assuming if i come here now and say let me remove this s so in this e this will bring out error the image is not going to be displayed now in the condition whereby the image is not displaying this alternate name we actually explain what the image are supposed to be there for example now let me save this now you can see the image is longer displaying because the name of the image is no longer correct so this our logo we now tell to the person viewing the website that okay this uh, this is where actually our logo is supposed to uh, be but maybe due to network 
the the image is not able uh, wasn't able to display very well so this particular alternate name will serve as an alternative you get alternative name to this particular image if it's not displayed so it's very very important to also add this alternative name so in a condition whereby the image cannot be displayed the person or the viewer we actually know okay this is where actually the image supposed to display but due to maybe network issue or maybe the file has been deleted it's not able to load very well again so that's work of this alternative or alternate or alter attributes so then let's put back our uh, this thing here and still to bring back our image but if the image is loading correctly or very well it, there is no need the alternate uh, this thing is not going to come out so it's when the image is not loading well or has been deleted that's where the alternative name will not come out so that is the work of this uh, image uh, image uh, tag or the attribute this is source attributes and alternate attributes inside the image tag so that's for the image tag now let's put another tag sorry another attribute inside the image we also have a uh, width and height attributes we also have width and height attributes we can make use of we normally make use of the width and height attributes in images you get we also make, it, make use of it in uh, css but in HTML, we normally make use of them in images we also make it i think in table and other things but let's make use of it in image now this is when i write your image and remember if we are writing your attribute it must start with the name equal to the opening and closing quotation mark remember double quotation mark so inside this double quotation mark that's where you now write your uh, width you can say uh, the width can be 200 okay you can see it has reduced that particular image now if you say height you can also put your height hundred you can see but if you are using height and width together it's kind of uh, expand the image the image will not be looking very nice again so in this condition just make use of the width alone the width alone can do the work so the image can actually look uh, normal even if when you compress or reduce or increase the size the width you understand so that's we are will make use of our width and height attributes. Yeah, I can see the work of this width and height attributes. Okay, let me write uh, uh, 1000. Uh, see, 1000 pixel is reducing it. Uh, I also have 100 percent. Can see 100 percent. 100 percent is just like that. The image, the image width still retain the hundred percent width it's actually came with so that's hundred percent width you can use all these widths and heights and uh, uh, pixel uh, view width view height these are measurements in in uh, web development so you, you learn more of them in css you get you can also use hundred alone to still work so that's it so let me just use uh, one okay let me use 200 300 pixel px you can see the image has reduced so you can also use your width your width and height here your height and can say height should be also be 300 pixel so it will miss it will it will listen it will expand uh, the image so i don't i don't actually make use of this no you can actually make use of this pending in the a condition you find yourself sure but for the course of this particular tutorial it's always used to use uh, it's always good to just reduce the width so that it will retain the ratio of the image it will not bring up the image or shrink the image or expand the image like that so that's why we make use of width in images which in some cases can also make use of the width and height too so so that's the width and height uh, attributes now we also have uh, we can have explained uh, alternate attributes so don't forget that this is our alternate 
it's also an attribute like i've already explained say this odd attribute these are width attributes these are our source attributes so all these things are attributes and we also have a style attributes we also have a style attributes now style attributes we normally make use of this when now make use of uh, the styling that css but we're not we're not treating css from but let me just in a brief uh let me just in a nutshell explain what it means now when you are typing your let me use p tag now in this my p tag this is red this is red okay let me use horizontal to demarcate this so that to to it to enter another okay yes okay let me use this my let me just using this so that it can master you can master you know, horizontal okay let me demarcating these things let me also demarcate this horizontal you can see the work of this horizontal it demarcates it draws a horizontal line in your website now this is red now just like you normally write your uh, other attributes if you want to write your style attribute you can also use your style equal to uh, opening and closing quotation mark it will bring it out for you then inside this space you can write your color you can say color color should be uh that's your you know we are going to learn this in css so if you don't understand it very well now just forget about it when you get your css you get to understand it more better but if you still understand it here very good and fine but just know that you are going to, you are still going to meet style uh, your style sheet which is all about css you get so about starting your website which we are going to do in our css but for the uh, for the for this tutorial i'm still going to explain it a little bit which i'm i'm trying to do now so when you write your color color should be let me uh, red we have red semicolon this will change to red if you get let me duplicate this now if you want to duplicate fast just go to that line the test is use your shift alternate hold your shift alternate then arrow key down to duplicate this particular stuff instead of copying and pasting so this is a short culture shift alternate arrow key down if you want to duplicate it up shift alternate arrow key up so uh, let me use this one green green color you can see this is green color this is red color you can change this into a green this is green color you can see it this is green color so all these things are style uh, attribute this is attribute this is style attribute you can see our attribute started with the style the equal to and the opening and closing quotation mark double quotation mark the same thing as with this one the same thing with this one the same thing with this one and so on and so forth you can see this is how you write your attributes and don't forget that we wrote all these attributes within the opening tag we didn't write all these attributes inside our ending tag or closing tag all attributes must be in the opening tag it must be in the opening tag for it to work if you write it outside the opening tag it's not going to work so that's one thing you have to note about your attributes so that's for the style attributes we also have a we also have a title attributes we also have you also have a title title attributes and we said uh, if you want to write okay let me demarcate this now so let me also make use of my p tag mm -hmm. okay let me write this is my title title attributes okay okay yeah this is my title okay this is my title this is my title attribute now the same does like the same way you write your attribute you come to your opening tag space you type your title equal because if i type it wasn't this one auto fill it for me because it's because how is that friendly but just know how you can type your attributes by yourself so that when you come when you know when you code for an interview and they say you should type attributes you start and they give you a code editor that is not that user friendly or they will give you a notepad to start typing. you know notepad is not a, it does not actually auto feel like that <laughs> so if they give you that kind of test editor you'll be struggling to type your attribute which is something like it's very very easy to type just type the name if it's title attribute if it's style attribute if it's a href attribute if it's source attribute if it's alternate width height 
any of any of that you just type it within the opening tag then equal to then you type your double quotation mark open and closing double quotation mark then inside that double quotation mark that's where you now type your uh, your uh, what if it's color if it's uh, anything you want to type inside that place now that's how you write to attribute now in this title this title is just like uh uh it's just like okay let me type in let me show you how it works uh this is uh title okay we uh we are tied to thing. Let me just say we are tied to thing. Now, when you hover on this particular test, it's going to be showing this we are tied to thing. Let's let's check. Now, when you hover over this thing, can you see the this thing the title you wrote? It just like to give further explanation about this particular stuff. Just like uh, uh, when we say that uh, attribute is used to give uh, more information about a particular element. It gets so this is actually what this particular title also uh, does to this particular uh, this particular p tag it gives more information about this particular this is my title attribute this particular uh, this particular element you get so when you hover on this particular test now this is my title uh, attribute maybe that person want to know what well, i want to know more about this particular stuff you can answer over say okay we are title team this is a title team you can also expand you know write further more information you know first type more information about it if you save it and hover 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 you just bring your mouse on top of that particular test you hover i didn't say you should click just hover hover like this it will bring out the title attributes for you so this work of title attributes as we will add a, okay let's add our title attribute in this red mm, can come here i can say add attributes many attributes inside one uh, one uh, uh, element let me add our title attribute here this is red color you here you here mm, okay this is red color you here let's save it we we'll already know like the red color. You can see this is red color. You hear it gives further information about this particular uh, element. So this work of the title element, title attributes. So it's very very important to use in some cases. So that's it. So um, we also uh, we also suggest we you make use of the double quotation. Uh, double quotation mark when you are using a uh, when you are writing your attributes is good practice that's a good practice nevertheless in some condition you have to make use of one in some condition you have to make use of one that's when you when the when the uh, when the attributes you have written has a double quotation inside it you know you cannot have double quotation uh, opening double quotation and inside that double quotation you see have double quotation again so one has to be one quotation you get that's for good practice you get but if you are if the the the, the attributes does not have any quotation inside that is test you are writing inside the attribute does not have any quotation inside it's always recommended or advisable to use to uh, the two quotation mark when you are writing your attributes i'm going to explain this now now let me explain what i mean by what i just uh, said now now when you are typing your um, okay let me type let me see use our top uh, p tag and let me say uh, title title let me use our title tag okay let me type something this is um, two two quotation quotation mark example this is two quotation mark example now if you come here okay let me just let me just okay if you come here and say uh, mr b is okay mr said mr b said you can see this is a given error now okay This is giving error because I'm using double quotation and double quotation outside. So I have to use 
one quotation here so i have to use one quotation it works mr b said uh my name is b no my what this man type <laughs> he's just a sound pressure then after it after the quotation you cannot continue yes i'm here to help this is good this now you can see there is no error here because you use double quotation outside it this is double quotation then inside the test now you now use one quotation one quotation mark not double quotation mark again now this will give us what we actually want you can see can you read it mr b said my name is b yes i am here to help this is code this now this is what you actually mean by you can actually when you make use of the double quotation outside you have to make one quotation mark inside so let's another example let's use our break tag sorry our hr tag let me use our p tag again uh hover on me over me or over me or over me anyone inside this rp tag we can use our title tag inside the title tag we can say okay okay let me let me, let me make use of one uh one uh one opening tag i have make use of double the other one yes this is yes this is one quotation quote quotation quotation mark and now make use of double you cannot make use of one again like this it's giving you red error, error. mean that you have make use of one outside it so you have to make use of double inside now now yes this is this is double and it is correct let me explain okay it is correct Today, you said it. Are you seeing it? If you hover, yes, this is top one is correct. Now, this is how it works. So, as, as, as I said, in some cases, in some cases, you have to make use of the one quotation mark. Sometimes you make use of double. Yeah, so it depends on what you actually want to type, but it's always advisable that you make use of the double quotation mark. So, even if what you want to type inside is double, just make use of. Uh, just make use of the uh as in, even if what to type one type here it, it, it's double just inside the inside the one you're going to type make use of one then outside make use of double it's always advisable again so that's how it was or else uh actually what you want to type inside it must be double quotation then in this case you have to make use of one quotation mark outside it so it can work if you use double double outside and inside it's not going to work it's going to give you an error so that's how the quotation mark work but normally if you don't want to make use of any quotation mark inside it it's always advisable to make use of the two quotation mark uh, when you're writing your attributes so that's how it, it was so the single and opening one are still correct depending on what you are actually uh, doing on or depending on what you are actually writing so this is how the attribute works so with this we are going to come to the end of this our tutorial now let me just recap what we have already treated now don't forget that we see that HTML uh, is not a uh, case sensitive sensitive meaning that you can type your H1 with capital letter you can type your H1 with small letter and it will still going to work but uh, for good practice it's always good to make use of the small letters it also makes your your your, your code readable so that's actually what you mean by html is not case sensitive and so you know also say that uh, in a meta tag we actually use meta tag to pass information to the browser or search engine or to, uh, to give information about our website to the search engine so it's not actually displayed in our browser here you can see this thing we typed here this are uh, this covers we teach uh, web design and web dev it's not actually displayed here but if you copy your website link and send to someone the preview is going to display this particular uh, 
this particular content this particular test you typed here and we see that this is an attribute this is an attribute this is an attribute and we also say that HTML uh, elements can be nested okay we also have a nested html element meaning that you can have elements inside element just like we explained with our our boiler plates this is the main this is the first element from the opening tag of h uh, uh, html to the closing tag of html then inside this element now we still have our header we still have our our body inside our body you still have our h1 Inside, inside this place we still have our p tag then inside this we still have our p also so you can have elements inside elements so this is what i mean by nested html elements so html element can be nested and we also make use of uh, we also treated the image tag and we explain that some tasks can work without closing tag why some you must add closing tag for them to work and we also say that some elements can work or some tasks can also work without attributes why some you must add attributes for it to work example is the anchor tag our anchor tag you must add the href attributes for that particular anchor tag to work but in our hr you can also you can just write hr without any attributes here for it to work it can still work now we also say that uh, our okay let's you can also add your uh, your style attribute in this hr you can just come here and say style you can add uh, the background color to be background color is that you write background color background dash color when you get to it says you understand this yeah? let's use red this I know I try display let's use red it's not the same because you have not added any width so it's, it's display but it's very tiny because the line is very tiny so what you are going to do here is actually to add the width oh, sorry the height the height height uh, let's say height 3 px so it can expand let me use 3 so it can be more broader 3 you can see it's not it's not uh, displaying very well so you can actually style your hr you can style your board you can style you know you can make things uh, you can add some attributes to all this and we say that this can actually work with that attribute you no know, when we before we added attributes here it was working it was drawing the hr uh hr uh, line that's horizontal line but if you want to add attribute just for you to style the line again but this can work with or without attributes okay so that's how it works but a uh, anchor tag like this cannot work without attributes because if we move this H href it will not be clickable again so which i've already shown you guys so this is how we actually this is all about the tags remember this is a tag anchor tag this is hr tag this is image tag this is hr tag this is p tag p tag p tag p tag we also have any uh, many other tags we, have, we also have a h h1 tag which is heading tag we also have many many other abbreviation tag Board tag and so on and so forth so there are many plenty of them yeah, which we are going to be seeing as we progress so this is what html element attributes and tag is all about so please make sure you study these things so that when we start going deeper in this particular tutorial you will not feel lost so please if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please kindly subscribe Turn on your notification bell and also make use of the comment section.